Hey everyone, I decided to make a short video to show you how I update the Zebo mod on my computer. Uh, many Mac users have been asking me in other videos how exactly I installed the Zebo mod and what do I need to do to install all the plugins, etc. I believe the main issue people encounter is the protection that macOS gives to files, to the system actually, in order to prevent malicious software from running. What the system does is add an attribute called quarantine to files downloaded from unknown sources. What we need to do is simply remove that attribute and then files can run normally without any hassle. So today I'm going to show you where I download the uh, Zebo mod and the updates from and how I copy them as well as how to remove the flag I just told you about. So without further ado, let's begin. First thing we need to do is get the Zebo mod. Uh, I use uh, a site called Zebo Updater, which has links to anything you need to download the Zebo mod. So this is the site. I will be adding a link in the share notes below, so you don't need to worry about it. And as you can see, there is an app that they created for Windows users, but we are Mac users. We don't need that. So we just click on Download Zebo mod. And this opens a second page where we have two options. One, to download the full release, which is the major release and the entire uh, thing, in this case 3.51. And we also have a patch to update the release to the current version. So what I need to do today is download the patch. What you might need to do if you're just installing the Zebo mode is download the full release. Now that it's downloaded, all I need to do is open the zip file to extract the files from the uh, compressed folder. Once that's done, I can just go to the folder, it opens it up automatically, and copy it to my installation folder. Uh, I installed Xplane on an external drive, so I don't have to worry about uh, uh, space running out in my internal SSD on my Mac. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how I got to this extra aircraft folder. Let me close this window. Do note that if you installed it in the regular location, your explain folder might be at a different place, so you need to know where that is. The simplest way to find it would be to use Spotlight. Simply search for explain 11. Since I already know, I just open a finder window, go to the external drive, find the explain 11 folder in there, and then I go to aircraft, aircra extra aircraft, and the Zebo mod folder, which is 737-800-X. Now I will open that folder, and I need to drag and drop these files to it. One important thing to note is that you need to merge the folders and not replace them if you're updating. Because when you replace, you might replace a folder that contains many other files and many other subfolders with a folder of the update that only contains the updated files that will cause it to delete the other files and then make the entire mod unusable. Select all files, drag, hold alt and drop and I want to merge and I want to apply to all so merge this will replace the files that need to be replaced and will not delete the other files that I don't want to erase now having downloaded this all these files are marked as unsafe so I need to mark them as files that are safe to use but I need to do it in the explain folder how do I do that? So what I need to do is open Terminal. So I just opened a Spotlight window and open Terminal. Once you open Terminal, all you need to do is type the following command, which is xatrib, or in short it's xatrib, minus r minus d, which tells it to delete the quarantine uh, flag recursively, also from folders within the folders that we're telling it to remove it from and the label itself the attribute itself is com.apple.quarantine and now we need to tell it what folder to remove it from and the easiest way to do that is simply to drag and drop the folder into the finder window so what I do is I hover over the title of the window and then I just drag the little folder from here into the terminal window that adds the um, path of the folder. 
Now, as you see, in my case, it gave me an error. I think it has to do with a crash I had in my system a long time ago. It might not give you this er error, but if it does, simply use sudo. sudo allows you to give a command as a super user. So you need to type sudo and the same command that we had before. Uh, once we click enter, it will ask us to enter our administrator password, which is the password with which you uh, log into the computer. And once I type in my password, it will run the command, hopefully with no problems, and I get no errors. So that means that all the files inside the Zibomod folder were marked as safe and can be used now. So all I need to do is open the flight simulator and see that everything is working fine. Um, since I am recording with OBS and I'm using a different resolution with the flight simulator, I will cut the video now and will show you that the files were installed and are running. And we're back in the simulator. I'll start a new flight. Let me fast forward through all this. If only we could fast forward the loading in real life. And as you can see, everything loads up fine. It's running a bit slow because the video editing software is open in the background. There are lots of programs open with this at the moment. You can see the version is updated and everything seems to be functional. I hope you found this video informational and you learned something new. Uh, feel free to drop any questions in the comments, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.